Hey guys, Steve Buck here, and I'm here in Round Valley in Lebanon, New Jersey. This is one of the deepest lakes, if not the deepest lakes, in New Jersey. But we're not here to go fishing, we're going to do some hiking. It's September, it's pretty chilly for September normally. So we're going to hike around and then we're going to do a tasting of a backpack dinner. Give a review on that as well. We're not going to go very far. It's probably about three and a half miles to where we're going to eat lunch and then three and a half miles back. So let's go ahead and get hiking. Lady can't be here. She's in Germany at the moment. Um, but she'll be back. So we are here at a boat launch. This is the boat launch for campers. You can actually launch a boat here and go camping on the other side. As you can see, the water level is pretty low. <laughs> for September, you know, usually I guess the water is up here. It's already down here. You got some bucket fishermen over here fishing. There's two dams in the lake. Over here, we're gonna walk past. The funny thing about Round Valley is the trail that goes around it isn't round. You can't go all the way around in one loop. You go out one way all the way to about three quarters of the way and then it just stops. So we're not going to go to a dead end. We're just going to go to the camping areas and just camp along the beach. I'm sure there will be plenty of real estate over there for us to set up a little stove. I used to go hiking here as a, as a Boy Scout camp on the other side. This is bear territory. You know. I see the bears. A little windy, cold. Right now it's about 50 degrees. So let's get hiking. Okay, so this hike is relatively easy and flat, but there is some steep downhills and uphills. That's when you come near the dam. This is the first steep downhill. I remember this as a scout walking up and down. Um, it goes down and then it'll be flat by the dam and then it'll go up again. This part kills the knees going down. <laughs> so they put stairs in here. When I was a scout, it was like just eroded dirt and roots. I don't recall there being steps. There's actually a trail next to it that's not steps. People that have knees like me, let's go down. These steps. That's the bottom. <laughs> I remember it being tougher. <laughs> I remember it being a lot tougher. And there's still some more down here, but I'm just gonna go up. I was leaning with side up. Right, we're coming to the dam. The damn dam. Okay, here's the other side of the dam. It's pretty windy here. I don't know if it's always as windy. I remember the dam being roughly halfway to the campsite. So we're like a mile and a half in. It's really an easy hike. So I brought with me a hiking pole just to see what it's like. I don't really hike with these things, but I'm old now. It's freaking windy. We're gonna see if this thing makes any difference. 
makes it easier to hike. I think going downhill, it's going to be better for me, for my knees. But we'll try it out. I only brought one. Some people like packs a lot. Steve, hike with two. Go the easy way or the hard way. Hi. <laughs> so I don't like this thing. Huh. So this is new. <laughs> okay, they're doing construction here because there were about 40 acres of ash trees that got infested by some beetle and died. So they cleared the area of the dead trees and they're going to plant some new ones. So the trail used to go like straight across, but now we're going down there. No swimming? Oh shucks. There is fish there. This is like tiger land. Just imagine tigers hunting in these woods. Here's the trail, and they're hiding in the brush, uh, unsuspecting hikers. A <laughs> random sign. Where else could I be? Ah, uh, good old wall climb. If any of you were in Boy Scouts or went to a summer camp, you might know what this is. This is basically a team challenge, a team building thing. So, boost each other up and pull each other up over the wall. They should love doing this. It's a lot of fun. I mean, now, I'm pretty sure I'm trespassing right now. Whatever camp this is. Yeah, you have to scale this wall. <laughs> I don't think it's been used in a while. but. I never did that here. I did that a lot in different uh, scout camps, Philmont, and the camp that I worked at that wasn't scout related, called Chuanki in Wiscasset, Maine. This was a lot of fun. Two and a half miles. Okay, we came to the campsite trail. So the red trail continues along the ridge. The campsites are down by the water. That's where we're gonna go. This is campsite three. So I think they have food, bear bag, bear boxes. <sighs> That's for your food. Look at the size of that spider. I don't know if those are black widows right there. They could be. So here's a campsite, first one, it's actually not, it's number three, but there's the old fire pit. The thing about camping here is you gotta bring an air mattress. The grass is pretty hard. The table seen better days too. Someone left a good amount of wood. Okay, I'm gonna walk along the lake a little bit, find a place to set up my cooking station. There's some poop there, that's not dog. Looks like bear poop. <laughs> Water is low. 
Again, the water is normally, it can be up as high as up to here. Oh, look. Little deer. This one's alive. It's alive. Dude, man, they're like all over here. Wow, look at that. They are all over here. Gross. Gross. And I think we're eating down here. Covered in those boar flies or whatever the freak they are. I can do it right here. Here we are. We're going to make our lunch right here on the beach. Let's check out what I'm going to eat. Today's meal is from Mountain House. We are going to have the chicken fajita bowl. Seasoned grilled chicken, rice, fire roasted vegetables, and black beans. 20 grams of protein per serving. Two servings. So two people. But Lena's not here. I got to eat it all myself. When I went camping this summer with my cousin Kaylee, I gave her my good little cooking pot to make hot water and she melted it. She, she used the plastic on the inside and melted the plastic. She gave me this new one, same thing from Stanley, just a little bit thinner. I take that off. Here are my thoughts on the Mountain House chicken fajita bowl. It's good. It's a little dry, a little bland flavor. You can taste a lot of the chicken. I really feel like I should have brought hot sauce. I'm a big sucker for spicy. And if there was a way to add a little spice to it, it might be a little bit better. But otherwise, all the ingredients just kind of blend together with this bush. Uh, but there's a lot of chicken in it. Um, I ate this all by myself for two. I feel like that was enough for me. If I was splitting with somebody, I'd probably be hungry afterwards. So I'm gonna give this a six, six and a half, seven. Um, perfectly fine. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. Roughly that 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 turkey th time. Turkey thyme, whatever that stuff is that Lee and I ate up in New York, New Paltz last year. It's kind of on that same level. I'll eat it, but now that I've had it, 
and I, if I was going to go on a long trek, I really wouldn't be looking forward to it. It'd just be a meal. Um, but that's it. You know, it'll, you know, it'll feed you. Let's get back on that trail. Came through the uh, one of the campsites and I found a lot of rope strung up on on trees. So I cut that off there. We're gonna take this out of here. Most of it's junk rope, but it's cordage, and I don't want to leave it on a tree. Free cordage. So when I came here as a scout, I do not believe that they had bathrooms or water spouts. It was pack in, pack out. We get the water from the lake and disinfect it. There we go. <laughs> Maybe there was water here. I don't know. There it is. I don't know. It's something different. These are those invasive flies or moths, wherever they are, man. We're like two and a half miles in, and this tree's covered in those things too. Jones the Temple of Doom, where the crocodiles are at the bottom of the ravine. Okay, let's go talk to somebody about those flies. six and a half to seven miles from my little bushwhacking. It's about three miles to the campsites, three miles back. Um, really easy hike. There's just a couple up and downs by the dam. Um, got to see all those crazy lantern flies, wherever they were. We had a great lunch on the uh, the bank here. The great view. So the uh, mountain house meal was okay, six and a half. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Those thumbs up really help. Give me a comment down below about Round Valley or other places you like to hike or just general thoughts about the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. We have weekly content coming out. And as always, Eagle Scout out. Bam!
So legend has it that there is a town or a bunch of buildings underneath this lake. The town was there before they built it. They built the dams, flooded it, uh, obviously without people in there. But sort of like the movie Deliverance. Um, and local legend, or I should say, my father, if you ever mention this lake, Round Valley, he will tell you two things. Number one, very deep lake. Number two, according to him, people die in this lake all the time because it's so deep. You can go scuba diving. Uh, he's under the impression that people are constantly going scuba diving into the buildings and getting trapped and dying. I'm sure someone, some people have fallen out of a boat or, or drowned in this lake on occasion, but I don't think that the annual death rate is very high. My father disagrees. I'm sure you could just do research and find out how many people have drowned in Round Valley, but I'd like to just let him think that it's very dangerous. Not that he would change his mind if I showed him any facts. He thinks, if I mention Round Valley, very deep, people die in it every year. Okay, we stopped at my dad's house. Let's see if I can get my dad to say it. Guess where I went hiking today? Guess where I went hiking today? Round Valley. What do you know about Round Valley?